Hello guys, welcome to my channel, I hope everything's okay in your life. In this video I plan to provide content that will guide many people. It seems like it will be a talkative video. It would be good, grab your coffee and then watch. Before starting the video I need to make some reminders. You will be lucky to watch the entire video because you will understand the preparation logic more clearly. Let's get started. First things first. Video is a vast and detailed game, and giving exact gear advice in this type of game is not accurate and not possible. Moreover, there are different central market economies in different regions. Therefore, remember that the advice you will watch is prepared to give a general idea and can be flexible according to your own playstyle. You don't have to apply everything one by one or step by step. Secondly, gear advice is given based on DR builds for PV. There are millions of different variations in PvP builds. These involve many possibilities that vary depending on your character you play, the cap values of the area you are fighting, 1v1, 1vx, different scenarios, different stages for PvP. Please refrain from asking questions about your own PvP build. Always remember that a video is a game and focus on enjoying it. Don't don't let other things get the way of your fun. Currently you are watching an ideal best installed crystal build on the screen. This build is actively used in many PvE areas. Set these crystals as your target from your seasonal character and try to obtain them as soon as possible. The approximate cost is 16 billion silver and the amount of the stats you acquire is quite high. In Black Desert Online the most cost effective way to acquire the most stats is through crystals first followed by the lightstone setups. Please do not underestimate and always take your steps with a future-oriented mindset. With a very good crystal build and the lightstone set, even high AP demanding spots can be easily cleared with seasonal gear. Regarding lightstones, try to obtain the sets you see on the screen as soon as possible. These sets are fundamental sets that you will use in many PvE areas. You can start with the most rapey given basic set in the season level, and then complete the others through pre-ordering from the central market. Aim to learn the game during season. Take your time, enjoy the game, complete your quests, finish your adventure journals. If possible, try to complete all main quests at the side quest on a single character. Of course, excluding life skill quests. I will assume you have already completed these as I begin with gear advice. It would be wrong for someone who has not fully learned how to play the game to directly focus on gear building. Save up materials for a guaranteed pen accessories, try to buy them from marketplace and do not sell your own materials. You can find a quick and easy guide on the link at top right related to this topic. Do research about making guaranteed armor or weapons and take a look at how you can obtain them. It has been significantly simplified and made easier compared to before. Complete your Magnus questline. A video containing all the puzzles in this questline can be found in the link at top right. This part is important. Try to learn everything about the combat mechanics of the game. You can learn about it from my video on the top right. Finally, if you have listened up to this point, you are lucky because I believe I've been able to convey the basic things to you. Now, we are moving on to the G progression part. I'll try to explain steps in this section as best as I can. On the screen, I'm leaving the G link in my Discord. If you wish, you can access it from the G advice channel. Once you join the Discord, get your role you will be able to see the channel. Okay, let's check the Jiro advice part. I assume you have completed all the journals and the main quest series. We are starting with a full Pentwala set. At this stage, I believe you have done the necessary work for guaranteed pen accessory and prepared your light stun sets. We should be okay at this part. On step 2, obtain a pen capote necklace from the graduation of season. Get a free pen red nose armor from Magnus Questline. The game will provide you a free Ted Black Star weapon. Choose between Pro Awakening or Awakening Black Star based the character you'll play. I will give an example using Succession Rusa character. I assume you have made one pen present during the season. At this point, you have reached 269 AP cap and have balanced and promising account just graduated from season. At this stage, you can easily grind at 70 LV spots. Do not forget to get your author's power stone from Ulukita main questline. Step 3. I assume you obtained the second pen crescent. Use the guaranteed armor method to get one Urgon shoots. Acquire one Tet distortion earring. You now have an account with 281 AP cap. 
Step 4. In this part, we will focus on DP. You should transform your Redner's armor into Fallen God armor. I also recommended acquiring Dawn's Glow and Lobberska helmet from market. I think it would be more cost effective. Dawn Glow's are very cheap and instead of grinding for hours for Frost of Flame for the helmet, you can obtain more silver in different spots for a more efficient result. If possible, please try to get Wells Heart from marketplace. Step 5. We will make a significant leap in AP at this stage. Get the second that distortion earring. Change your black star weapon given by the game into a gatherite weapon and try to enhance it to duo, if possible, tri level. Also, purchase the two missing pieces of three piece set from the market as tri. We have added three piece of tri level gatherite and that distortion earring. Your AP will increase a lot. Step 6. Purchase one Tetungrad belt in this section. Complete the upgrade all your accessories with the cups. Also complete the upgrade for Wells Heart. Step 7. Enhance one of your armors to try level. Upgrade Urugon's shoe to Capras level 10. Purchase a Tet Deboraka necklace or obtain it yourself at normal Ash Forest spot. Hope you can get it as soon as possible. Step 8. Try to get Tet Deba belt and Tet Deba earring. If you prefer to enhance them yourself, that's also fine. It may be a little bit harder than necklace. Because for the current situation, a best in slot accessories for future are Deboraka setups. Hopefully you can reach your tats in a short time. Step 9. Begin pushing your main weapon and awakened weapon towards tats and pen levels. Your priority may vary depending on whether you play succession or awakening for your own gameplay, for your own class. Step 10. By this stage, you should be ready to grind at Yzerate Highland spot. Spend time at this spot, at least complete two Kabo's artifacts, or maybe more, and your flame. Then convert your level 10 Urgon to other shoe and enhance it to dual level. Step 11. At this point, we are making all our weapon Pen Gatherite or Pen Black Star. It's up to you. You can either purchase them or upgrade your Gatherites. Step 12. I recommend getting a Pentungrad ring at this stage. You can exchange your Crescent ring with Narc Earring. This way, you can deal more damage in Kamasilvia spots. Step 13. Purchase a pen distortion earring at this stage or enhance it yourself. It's up to you. Step 14. Let's upgrade the remaining piece of armor to try level at this stage. Congratulations on reaching step 15. You have now surpassed 735 cheer score. I recommended making a second Pentungrad ring. You can exchange the Crescent ring with the Narg earring again on this stage. Step 16 and Step 17. Actually, they are added as a bonus. Originally, I wasn't planning to include them and was going to complete the video at 740 gear score. Since we have come this far, let's continue. Make your Debrokas pen and upgrade your armors to that level. Yes, you are now hard cap player. It is so easy to explain but long and painful process to achieve. Especially Step 16 and 17, that will be a long journey for you. Alright. I have tried to guide you through the steps of creating a standards build as much as possible. It took two days to prepare this video. Additionally, more than six years of video experience should be taken into account. Remember, you can find the Jir link in Discord. After selecting your role, you can click on the link in the Jir Advice channel. On the other hand, you can find lots of video content on my channel. Giving back to my efforts is completely free. Do not forget to pause the video right now, subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment and share the video on your Discord channels. I hope you guys like my content, do not forget. Video is just a game, have a nice game.